Both New York City and New York State health departments have issued emergency declarations due to the outbreak of the monkeypox virus. This comes after the World Health Organization called the outbreak a global health emergency, which is its highest level of alert. Monkeypox is in the same virus family as smallpox and is spread through direct physical contact. Every state in the nation is reporting cases. New York, though, is the epicenter of the outbreak. More than 1,500 cases have been reported here, 1,512 as of August 2nd. But Mayor Eric Adams estimates up to 150,000 New Yorkers may be at risk. The vast majority of those infected are men who acquired the virus through intimate contact with other men. But anyone can be infected with monkeypox. So the race is on to stop the spread. Is enough being done in response to the virus to protect all New Yorkers at risk? Joining me now is Jason Cianciato, Vice President of Communications and Public Policy for GMHC, the gay men's health crisis. And as we know, hi, Jason, uh, GMHC is known for heading the fight against HIV AIDS. You've been there since 1982 and also providing health services, social support, and now here we are with monkeypox, and uh, tell us what you're doing. Since the first case was diagnosed in the United States, um, GMHC has wanted to make sure that science, not stigma, leads the messaging that goes out to the communities of gay, bisexual, men who have sex with men, transgender, and gender nonconforming people who are at highest risk. When you talk about stigma, and this word has come up, how does that affect the individual who, who says, I believe I have the symptoms, I want to find out about this vaccine? What's going on here and here? Well, uh, I looked up the word stigma recently, and a one word definition stuck with me, which is shame. Right? We want to make sure that people are not um, acting in fear mm -hmm. and shame, because as we learned from, you know, 40 years of the HIV epidemic, um, that doesn't equip people with the information they need to keep themselves and others healthy. We uh, have seen lines of people, um, you know, going to get uh, the shots and, and, and again, having to be very personal um, as they're doing this. What kind of support do you give people who already have the virus? GMHC does not provide um, direct medical services. So one of the, the things that we do is um, navigate people to trusted providers that we've worked with for years, like Callan Lord Community Health Center or the Mount Sinai system so that they can get the care they need. But we, we provide a variety of support services that can help our clients who have been affected by monkeypox in some way, including uh, mental health uh, and substance use treatment services. As we know, there's so much tremendous fear and anxiety and a large portion of the community has been affected has had to work through something that is very painful um, and um, very stigmatizing and we're there for them what would you like to see the city and state health departments do uh, they've declared it an emergency what do you need from them well, the city and state have taken a number of steps that we've really welcomed, uh, that we had hoped had happened sooner, but they're here now and they're our partners. And one of the things that we want to make sure happens is that people who are both at high risk, but least likely to have access to the technology, a computer, the internet to um, make a vaccine appointment, are able to do so. We know the services, uh, again, that started, uh, you know, 82, but with the HIV AIDS virus, late 70s and 80s, um, and, and just mm -hmm. the suffering and, and the deaths. Um, mm -hmm. Do you see similarities uh, between how, uh, th this kind of goes back to the stigma, but, ju but also about response and help to combat this? Well, I definitely think that people are experiencing um, uh, the type of fear and anxiety that I could imagine occurred uh, back in the early days of, of the epidemic. Certainly people who are long-term survivors um, may be uh, experiencing it even worse. Um, uh, but what, what we have seen, um, and this is something to actually celebrate uh, in terms of lessons learned, is that the communication from our public health agencies and 
um, mostly from the mainstream media, have been really helpful in ensuring that um, we're, we're not equating monkeypox to quote unquote a gay virus. Um, they've been really clear that while the communities that are currently affected most involve the gay, bisexual, and men who have sex with men and, and trans populations, that um, this virus um, is easily transferable through skin-to-skin -skin contact and can affect everyone. I was looking at your website. There is so much information there from the CDC, from the New York State uh, and the city uh, health commissioners and just really listing, you know, what to be looking for and talking about if you go out, you know, clothing helps with um, uh, contact being averted. Just so much information, I urge our viewers. And the last thing, President Biden has announced today a team to lead the monkeypox response. Your reaction to that? Sure. Well, well, thank you for mentioning our website. People can go to gmhc.org forward slash monkeypox to get that information. Now, I'm really happy to see this move by President Biden to um, appoint a czar who can help to coordinate messaging. The, um, you know, the, the COVID czar had previously been doing that, and he certainly has his hands full. So I'm glad that we, we have someone at the top level of our executive government to, you know, help get the word out there. But what we really need most our vaccines. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned, uh, you know, at the beginning that there's an estimated 150,000 people at high risk for um, monkeypox in New York City. That means that we need at least 300,000 doses because it's a two-dose course, and that's just for them. Um, but unfortunately, I think the time to contain this outbreak um, is waning, and that means that there is an increased risk that the um, uh, virus could also become active in other New York City communities. And it would be a real tragedy if that happened simply because vaccine that the that U.S. taxpayers paid for the creation and that was available didn't get to people on time. Jason, uh, important point. I'm glad we spoke about the availability of vaccines. Jason Cianciato, Vice President of Communications and Public mm -hmm. Policy for GMHC. Thank you so much for being with us and for offering this information and hope as well. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome. And we have more resources on the monkeypox outbreak on our website. You can find all that at cbsnewyork.com.